about how I said it's the wiki's LP? Is this the first um, oh, you episode said it's after the slip. whole, um, like, conversation what? thing? What conversation? Trying to find, trying to find neutral word. The whole, like, Oh, no, we them. this is the, uh, second Oh, okay. Okay, so you're ready, so you're ready to get all your shiz cleared up. Okay, great. Great. You have to keep doing that. Oh, you got electrocuted. Yes! Thunder tits! <laughs> I'm not going to look she, at she that. Falls down exhausted. In the same way again. And uh, I'm uh, spent. <laughs> Woo! I've gone for this battle is eyes, actually yeah. really long. I just remembered. Not oh, because bye bye. Oh, she's gonna oh, die. Quistus is dead. No, she's too sexy to die. Don't worry, I'll bring her back. With Irvine. There you go. Yes, Irvine's good for something, somehow. Hey, he has got a good limit to it, Irvine, or Irvine. Bruce, shoo, shoo, I'm done for! Goes. No, no, why me? I'm no. afraid of you! It's too bad we don't have Brian Blessed. He'd be great to do Nora for. Gordon's alive! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, he did DIVE! <laughs> That's definitely the noise that Norg is making. That, uh, Brian Bless- <laughs> Noise. <laughs> you have the life death We don't do we! No, what on Wait, earth wait is a that? second. Wait, Red Sphere thing. Where did that That's come the planet from? Jupiter. It's here. The planet Jupiter is right there. Yeah. Actually, it turns out that Norg was the human incarnation of Terra. He, they're trying to assimilate the planet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Segway into the Final Demi. Fantasy Nine. Oh. Yeah. I, think I thought there's a... a little tiny Tokyo Jupiter, and the Moo were gonna come down and try to start the retuning of the planet. I thought Norg was just making a cocoon so he could like oh, pop out with wings and yes. a snail shell. Let us play cards! What? Ooh! You actually yes. kept one in, why don't, haven't you? Well, this is actually an important one, because I win a, a good card. Ooh, right. Okay. Yes! The Ooh, Quistis, Quistis card! Ah, oh, there she is. Yes. I'm going to keep in all the card games where I win a major card. So how many, t how many times did you have to play this game this before Quistus' card actually showed up? Uh, about a million. A million. And a million. <laughs> One million. I can imagine. Trillion. Eight. Gazillion. Well, it, it did show up a few times, but I got draws, so it was very annoying. Um, mm. this is how Triple Triad gets annoying. It's like, sometimes they just won't use the card you want them to use. And it's like, come on! How are you gonna do this? What the fuck, man? Just use the damn thing! Ugh. But anyway, oh, yeah. I won. All is well. And you want the cat, And there we go. To select two cards. Wow. Yes. Very nice. Hmm. Um, I've never seen that rule before. What rule? I'm just is used it... to just win one win Oh, that's, all. uh... That's... Difference rule, isn't it? Yes, uh, if you take one card, you get to have two. It's a difference between the two oh, numbers. Cool. So if yeah. it's six to four, that means I get two. Who is typing? Yes, why are you typing? And is somebody not wearing their headphones? Um, it's not no. me. Okay, I good. Hear back. Cause I, I hear some reflect in myself, I don't know what that is. Just making sure, I don't want to repeat episode one. It's probably you. It's always your fault. Um, I sure hope not. You take all responsibility. Ah, Everything is my fault. The uh, what shall we talk about? Um, yeah, let's just do that one. Yeah, let's just skip all that. There's enough exposition in this game, we don't need to go through all that, man. No. Yes. Oh, you gotta talk to him, though, it seems. Um, I, I don't know why I'm doing this. I heard she's your wife. A slug told me in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> a rather large slug. Got any more skeletons in your closet, Sid? Any more hot wives you want to tell me about? <laughs> <laughs> you I'm don't deserve Edia, you son of a bitch! I'm actually your 
I'm actually your father. <laughs> I will take his eyes out with my gun blade, and I will cut him in half. <laughs> How dare he, bastard! Hey, got so you finally get paid as well. Level twenty is that yes. it? Yes. I don't need any more. Zul. I mean, I could. Oh yeah, shoe. Zul. Oh good, the glorified NPC Zul. is back. Zul. Shoe. Zoo. Zoo. Zoo, motherfucker, zoo. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the weirdest LP I've ever Wait, she, I, I missed what she said. No, what did she say? Good, then we're doing our job right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a second. Something really funny happens here. Uh, let me see if they'll do it. Okay, okay, thanks. Coming up. This made me laugh like every time they did it. Ah, the white seed ship. Yeah, these morons. Can I actually make. make I want to make a point again. Think about that name for a moment. White Seed. Wait, yeah, see how they get on the boat. Watch this. One moment. Just... Come on, come on, come on. And there you go! <laughs> Ninja! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is... What she after they have junctioned? How can I get that? Please, tell me. <laughs> Why do these guys get to do that? I want to do that. Oh, alone. Oh, uh, the the but my favorite part of these guys is that their existence makes no sense and just complicates the story even more. And they aren't even needed. But they, they have a boat. Worthless. They have a boat. And they're gonna That's take alone with it's a nice boat. Well, the thing is, like, they take alone away because they say it's too dangerous. But you find out later in the game that shortly after they took her, they got attacked and had to send her to Estar. She could have been an Estar the entire time, and we could have not had this cutscene. Because it accomplishes nothing. You know. I know. Like, why not just send her away to Estar? <laughs> she could have lived in the space station the whole time. She could be a space girl. Space. Mm -hmm. Space. Now, space. And then Squall complains earlier about just being manipulated and not knowing what's going on, and then he just does what he's told without asking why. He's a loyal puppy. Like, you don't get to do that. He's my squall puppy. I kick him sometimes, because I don't like him. <laughs> Bad squall. Bad squall. Sit. Please, explain to me what's going on! No, not for another disc. <laughs> And even then, you'll be sorry that you found out. <laughs> yeah. It was actually better when you didn't know. <laughs> so anyway, um... It's too hard to explain now, and we're running out of disc space. Yes. Uh, she's the one that's been sending us to the past to go visit Laguna. Because she's trying to change the past, but it turns out you can't. And, um, that's kind of the whole thing. There we go. Mm -hmm. Great. Time travel. <laughs> Wrapped up. All done. GG. Time travel. You can't change your past, but you can change your future. Actually, but if you change, you change the future, future you, you change, change the, the past. past. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually seen, like, there's a TV show, I don't know if you've heard of it, Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. And they actually, some people do examine, is it possible to change the past by adjusting the future or something? Um... Um, that sounds like, like it'd be more they call fun it on Doctor Who. Retro causality or something. <laughs> yeah, really, we need Doctor Who. That's that's what this game needs, Doctor Who. Could be I'd rather prefer to take Doctor Brown. It needs Dalek. Get all eleven. So anyway, after she told Squall that she needs him, Squall starts to go friggin' crazy. He starts losing it throughout this disc. Uh. Well, to be honest with you, I think he was losing his will, he's losing his solid sanity since he was like, I don't know, seven? He's been mentally unwell for a very long time. Hmm. Deeply so. Nice sunset. Yeah, very pretty. Bye bye. Bye, White Seeds! Bye, alone! We look forward to having to track you down on Disc 3, and therefore sending you away with a titanically stupid idea! But the ship has solar cells! 
Look at that. Wow. Why would you need solar cells when the sun is setting? That it is pretty not cool, make actually. Sense. You know? Are that you trying to make sense of Final cool. Fantasy VIII? What the this hell is really wrong? This game really does devote itself to random FMV stuff. Yeah, now there's a lot of really cool, like, random technology stuff. That's like the best part of this game, just going to see the cool yeah. sci-fi things. It's like, yeah. you know... Satellite is still the best part of the game. It's like the Star Wars prequels, kind of. Yeah. In fact, exactly. Yeah, this is, yeah, Star Wars prequels. Also, I'm tired it's of Jar Jar Peaks! Love. <laughs> I'm in Final Fantasy VIII now! Yay! <laughs> oh. No. Face the darkness of Jar Jar Binks! You know what you said before we actually started filming this LP? You said that you feel like you're in a daft mood. I think I you're am in, in a, a very bit daft than mood. daft than that. <laughs> I, I'm in a daft sound? punk mood. Somebody's typing. He, he said he's in a silly Stop mood. That. I don't know about daft. Daft yeah, punk silly, mood. saft, the silly, daft, it's all the same. No, no, Christmas, please don't leave Squall alone. Daffy please Duck kind of mood? <laughs> Daffy Duck. Yes. More of in a Scrooge mood myself. Oh. Scrooge McDuck. So anyway, uh, Quistus is going and pointing out why Squall is the biggest motherfucking asshole ever. I've actually never seen this dialogue before. Have you played no, this game? I... Or do you want to, you want to go to talk to a wall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good I decision, always get decision. Zell in but this, because I always take Zell with me when I do this. And I always end up getting in for some reason. She's more forgiving than I am. I'll give her that. If Squall oh, does this change based on who's in your party? Let's go talk me, over I never tea. would forgive him. Can everyone hear me? Come, Squall, let's go yeah, talk yes, over tea, hear. play some soft music, see where the night takes us. <laughs> what? But she's not wearing Just blue, so he can't love her. Love? Squall <laughs> loves people wearing blue. Yeah, no, it's Alone and Laguna. I mean, no, Renoa. They both love both of them. Loves both of them. You see I that? I love that. Well, you wanted the oh, big one. Here comes the big one. Oh no, you, we're well, crushing you the big one. <laughs> You've got it. Welcome. <laughs> hey, it's got. <laughs> it's the scene from Godzilla, 1998. <laughs> this so is it's it's the same fisherman too. First he caught Godzilla, <laughs> now he caught the Balam Garden. Yeah, he's Very still impressive. trying to go for that fish. He, well, he's just dropped the thing now before he decided maybe his life was better than that fish. the best fishing spot ever. <laughs> Got some random No, he's the Hylian Loach, Jeppo. Do you have any idea how long that takes you to get that? We just ruined that man's <laughs> life. <laughs> how can we live with ourselves? Not quite easily. Fishing is I really, hate really, really, so really much. boring. So do I. That's the rest of this episode, Fisherman's Horizon. In fact, I think, I think they just should. I hate it mostly because the people are assholes and wimps. <laughs> I, think just, I think fishermen should just put the fish fishing debt down, and just play video games. It's so much easier and so much more fun as well. You can play the fishing game in Ocarina of Time, <laughs> or Twilight Princess, but not the one in Final Fantasy XII. That one sucks. Don't do that one. I've never actually played that. Anyway, uh, now that I'm kissing Sid, let me go play Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> Squall has embraced the love that they Hey man, he's got cards for you. Cards. Yes. The man, Cypher that is card. one headmaster I'd like to play card games with. And by play card games, I mean have sex. <laughs> by have that was sex with, I mean I had play to do cards. That. It's a children's oh, no, no, no. This is just a cover. This is like the hot coffee mini game. <laughs> this is the hot coffee mini game. <laughs> That's a good place to put Christus's card, I think. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Middle I left. Have, have I put it down yet? Because I might be behind. No, or you've something. not. All right, I'm still. I could have won by now, man. You suck at this game. <laughs> hey, I don't want to screw this up. I'm thinking for the best. He's thinking. Move. He's thinking. Give him time. He's got this. Yes. Otherwise, he wouldn't be sure to us. Yeah, I've got this one now. Also, do the elements yeah, mean no, anything the in the upper right-hand corner? They do if you have the element rule. Very okay. little. Like, sometimes you'll get plus one, and sometimes you'll get minus one. And that's about it. Okay. It doesn't really change much. Good cards are still good. Bad cards are still oh, yeah. bad. Four, cool. Yeah. 
The diff rule is very nice. Now this goes the all rule, but okay. The direct rule could suck my balls, changes. though. Oh yeah, that's, that's a terrible. A horrible one. Suck my balls. Suck on my balls. Suck on my chocolate salty balls. Means. Just stick them in your mouth and suck them. Suck on my chocolate salty balls. Is that the advert for Uncle Joe's mint balls? Um, you don't know what no, that is, that's, will you? No, that's South Park. I've never heard of that. I think we violated every single stipulation about language in this uh, LP that the four Were there oh, suggested. <laughs> Wait, what stipulation well, over there? No. Yeah. I don't remember any language things. Uh, I remember back when I did the first, uh, the first part when I took back and uh, during FF6, I was like, uh, I want to say bullshit, but I don't know if it's okay to say that. Can I swear in the LP? Bullshit. And look how far we've come. Suck on my chocolate salty balls. 